All right, pack one, pick one, worm coil. Let's go. <laughs> It's silver, but that's brown adjacent. I would hold it against Portal to Phyrexium. I gotta admit, this is not a great start to the stip. <laughs> no Moxen, no Sol Ring, no Workshops. There's so many picks left, though. We have so much time. Hmm, that helps a little bit. This curve, huh? This curve needs help. Needs a Band-Aid stat. So this bobble actually has the brown border. We're gonna nettle cyst here. A little bit more artifact y hum. Artifact payoff. Is Ugin any good? Yeah, Ugin rocks. No brown cards here. We could take either Essica's Chariot, which is an artifact, or Goblin Welder. I'm gonna grab the Welder. They're both uh, brown compliments, right? Welder actually has robots in the art. I might play well with the portal. Line them up! Hard evidence makes it artifact. Glimmer Lens is technically an artifact. Grow some. Hard evidence is a cheapo critter to carry the nettle cyst. Something. Plus the talisman taps are blue. Are lands brown? Some of them are. Try lands, not brown. Mission's Workshop, very brown. Ancient Doom, super brown. Really just down my pack. I feel like this track would be a fun one for like a race in a movie. Like a movie soundtrack. The tires screeching, yeah. Mm, cars zooming back and forth. I rewatched uh, Baby Driver pretty recently. Still enjoy that movie. Are we tinkering? I like Roaming Throne. Roaming Throne wheels a lot. This Tinker is going to get that portal into play. It's going to get our brown tutored up for us. Tinker honorary brown. Mystical Tutor for Tinker is a thing, but I'm going to take the Opal here. A fight scene's in the boys. Yeah, I yeah. am. Oh, man. What do you all think? Triplicate Titan is not a bad one for Welder. I don't know how Weldery we are. It's like that or the Lantern. Lantern's another cheap thing to sack to Tinker. I value that. Also got the brown border. Brown stip. Need some brown cards. Shark makes brown stuff. Yeah, sorta. Sorta. Very hard for me to justify non-actual artifacts over artifacts, right? Maybe on the wheel. Urza now. <laughs> Urza's, Urza's an honorary brown. Urza's not hard for me to justify in this. Exactly. Yours is the brown daddy. Artifacts price, yeah. Mm, got this beautiful brown talismans. Probably channel there. You think Urza made 60% of all brown cards? No, 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 no. It's 50%, right? He split with his bro bro. Oh, I've been blight steeled. I've been blight steeled since this morning. Still no workshops. Yeah, we need a mana crypt for this uh, for this tinker, and we need a um, a lightning greaves for this blight steel colossus, and we need a workshop for this whole deck. Oh shit! What up? Hey J twenty five. Thanks for forty one months. 
that throne wheel. I was expecting that. Roaming throne's really good. Really underdrafted. How serious are we about white? Staff's pretty good. There's another wire here, though. Pretty free. Yeah, let's take the staff. We got some like, random token stuff going on. Titan came back. Love to see it. It's in the stream description, Behood. This is my rap playlist. I can link you again, though. So there's an Ancestral Recall here. There's also a One Ring. All right, so 49% of artifacts were made by Urza, 49% by Mishra, and then like 0.1% by Sauron. Is that them? Does taking recall over one ring break the stem? One ring's like pretty brown, right? It's probably gonna draw more cards than recall anyway. I don't know why this is hard for me. Do you think recall gets more artifacts? I don't think that's true. I think one ring draws more cards. Recall draws three artifacts. One ring draws fucking 50 artifacts. What are you? <laughs> hmm. I would like it better if we had that workshops card, though. Yeah, no workshops, no academy. Rough times. Hey, Thros, thanks for the sub. Appreciate you. If we had workshops, I'd like this relic. We don't. I'm going to take the talisman. And uh, hopefully we'll lose this key, huh? Untap our one ring. Engineering? No, we're not playing red. Yeah, even an Ancient Tomb would have been really good with our Triple Talisman here. Probably don't need all three of these. Just two for Tinker. Yeah, no Ancestral Wheel. Unfortunate. We got white. I think the staff's pretty good. And then we have like no removal. No, we can't quite. I'll just play two, play the hole, play the play the staff. Almost like announcement. Hearse could steal a game. We already have Lantern. Lantern and Hearse. Just never lose the graveyard. Yeah, that's true. Seraph at, at three is also a white card. Valid. I can still Seraph's the cut. Does jump blight steal. Kind of cute. Also, crew Sky Sovereign. We don't have a ton of things crew in Sky Sovereign. Right now, I need one cut here. Yeah, we never got turtle. We were definitely fighting somebody for artifacts, right? We got a lot of like late picks and stuff, but we never got turtle, we never got workshops, all that stuff. Is staff good? Yeah, staff's great. Just need a few more other things spitting out tokens. We have a lot of token production here. Fucking uh, hard evidence. Hanging back walker, nettle cyst, Urza, Karn, Batter Skull. Worm Coil. How long do we have to wait for a Vintage Cube Season to return? Not actually that long. I think they want to... They realize it's like one of their better formats. So they want to step it up. Make them dollar dollar bills. Hmm... We have triple talisman. We can just jam this. Fifteen actual lands. Not really a deck that can afford to miss land drops. I'd feel a lot better about dropping one if we got into workshops, right? Yeah, workshops would have been better than Academy here. No loser for now. They're not necessarily opened. But you're likely to see one of them, right? If you're cutting artifacts right from the get-go. One of them or turtle or 
the thopter combo or you know there's like a lot of other stuff that we're missing <clears throat> and we didn't open any moxen either so kind of a rough spot for us yeah revoker's good because we don't have like a bunch of moxen powering stuff out like we like slowing them down with revoker's good and the portable hole's good you want to like not die right Maybe sky sky sovereign's the cut or the seraph yeah, the double white's rough. I don't usually want to play it for six. Ollie's blue. Yeah. We did pass Ancestral, yeah, we took the One Ring over it. And Ancestral doesn't solve any problems for this deck. Like, we're still slow as shit, we just have a couple more cards in hand. I'll have to cut back next season. Alright, here we go. Yeah, maybe I should have grabbed that uh, Merchant Scroll, huh? Have the Tinker a little bit more often. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Final three days of cube. Mystical Tutor, sorry. Merchant Scroll's not in the cube. Strip it up. The least vintage cube hand you've seen in a while? What, with Tinker? How many cubes you seen Tinker in? What am I playing after? I'm taking a break. I'll be gone for like a week, week and some change. And then we'll see when I come back. Portal's pretty good if your opponent's got some critters. Bye. GG? Do we gotcha? Oh, shoot it up. Hey, Scooby Dooby. Thanks for 83 months. And thanks for the well wishes. Absolutely beef punch. In fact, can still gain life with lifelink. Curse coming in because we saw some graveyard recursion there. I'll swap Revoker for it. Zerun Orb is the hard counter to strip mine. Hmm. Wow, an opponent bringing you chatters. Let's go. Let's go! <laughs> hmm. What card in my sideboard least deserves to be in Vintage Cube? Mosswood Dread Knight. I've seen Mosswood Dread Knight cast in very few winning games of Magic in this cube, and I've seen people play it a lot. It's just a little too mid-ranging for what the cube's doing most of the time. So many good cards. Grenier likes it. <laughs> the most, the most mid-range drafter of all time. Yeah. <laughs> the Naya deck did end up trophying. So I'd like to get the roaming thrown down on Artifice there before we play Urza. We'll see how that goes. Ooh. I'm just playing a stinky ballista next turn. Hate that. Plus eight life though, <laughs> yeah. Very relevant. What you got, Brute? Could Urza into Talisman here. 
and tokens the three three. I still I think I still like the roaming throne on Artificer. You could catch in the Ballista for Garrick. I think playing Roaming Throne's a little bit better. Assuming we can land her as the next turn. Yeah, Roaming Throne on Artificer really, really paid off in the Psy Plus or the decks that I've drafted. Sometimes those things are related, Ray Zarzan. <laughs> like not losing to X lets you win on a future turn. It would work naming humans, yeah. Gonna disenchant my roaming throne. They are nice. Yeah, Ward is better than um, hexproof in this cube. It's it's so much better. <laughs> Just unreasonably good. The Hobo Johnson hate. Mm. I think I'm like the only person who's just very medium on him. <laughs> there are people like, this is the best shit. And there are people like, this is the worst shit I've ever heard. And I just be like, this is fine, I guess. <laughs> Doesn't sound like me to Holmes. It might have been the same Hobo Johnson song like ten times in a row or something. <laughs> hey McMag thinks the sob thing's in twenty two months. Hmm, kind of a rough spot here, right? Because the Nissa can just disenchant things. Maybe I'm just supposed to hit the fucking Nissa. Yeah, so at least this is ticking up to make four fours now, right? Our Urza spins worthy. I mean, we could hit like Blightsteel or some shit, you know? Or Portal or whatever. It's just when you brick, when you're into like a land or something, it's pretty brutal. Yeah, that one's not great in the homes. I agree with you there. Witchness is that. That one's the worser one for me. This is like the slowest way to grind down a Nissa. Just every turn. It started at seven. It's at two now. Just every turn. Hmm. <clears throat> If I'm the opponent, I like uptaking Garrick here, threatening the overrun. Yep. Just like that. And then I guess I gotta spin uh, my fucking Urza, hum. Hit Portal or something. I 
Or should I draw this first? Oh, that has to tap to sang. Because we can sack this, draw, and then hit Tinker. Nah, it's fucking... Kind of an uneventful game. All right, Roker back in. I still love Herson, I guess. Yeah, they got Eternal Witness too. Eternal Witness and Lum. All right, I'll cut the damn throne. Gotta cut something. We we'll also took its activation next to, de next to death. Like if you, if the Nissa's not down ticking, then it's up ticking, right? It's been not critters. All right, here we go. <laughs> this is like the exact hand we had in game one. Tough hand to play, yeah, a lot of options, huh? A lot of ins and outs. The question is, if they disenchant Talisman, do you run out your other one, huh? I think you don't, but you could get punished for not to. Like the Lone Baxter mine. Oh, thanks for the correction, Okrafant. Nature's Claim is destroy. See, they got an answer this time. We blocking? Plus one. Let's go. All right, Brute, you got something? Up to 35 over here. Yeah, funky time. The last couple of years, huh? <laughs> Oko on top of the library? Oko on top? Oko seems like a card that would have been better this turn. I was a little sluggish, huh? I'm gonna restart real quick. Give the crab a sword, hell yeah. I was gonna crack clue. This deck could use a turtle, huh? Oh, there's a lot that the deck needed. Land here is nice because we can talisman into the revoker. That's like the best card to Mana Crypt, right? Or to Revoker, right? A turn two Mana Crypt that just cracked a clue. 
Just passing. Love that. Love that for me. Almost played Sky Sovereign this turn. Kind of regret not. Urza gone too soon. Yeah, right. Too young. Whole life ahead of him. All right, can this one ring outdraw Ancestral Recall? Let's go, friends. Najila. I think this guy Sovereign's got to kill that Najila. Um, card pops off. Well, we've matched Ancestral Recall. Should have cracked this earlier. Perfect. If we had an academy in this deck, this blight steel would be a lot better in hand, huh? We have ten mana in playing. Oh, like one more turn out of it, but so I drew three more cards in Ancestral Recall. Seems like those three extra cards were relevant there. I don't know. Just from my side, I, I could be wrong. Chat's pretty smart. You added the quote, chat's pretty smart. Yeah, that got the, uh, that got the intent of my comment. <laughs> well done. Nailed it. We got an ancient tomb. Fucking lucky. Oh, shoot it up. Hey, Bark. Thanks for the six months. Thanks for the half a year. Smart enough to remember, remember your prime? Hell yeah. <laughs> Are we going to win this game? Oh, she went up. Hey, real blue link thinks the sob things are sharing that prime. Dude, we don't have a ton of artifacts in play right now. I'm just going to draw. Flash 3 1. Sam. <coughs> well, that's much better for me, right? Better. Sweet. Nice little mold of five. I almost, I almost went to four. Or like scooped. Worked out. Oh, fair cheese. 
Yeah, been there. Been there for sure. Nothing wrong with that. Sometimes you're just off at home. Thanks for the match regardless. We have Portal. We have a Portal as a tier target. We can also slow dredge this Blight Steel. Which I've done before. I don't really want to, but... The One Ring. Came to Turok me. Hit Blight Steel. Huh? Oh yeah, funky time. Watched him play a lot of chess. Was it part of a exhibition thing? Playing his subs with odds. Nice. Very cool. I haven't wa I haven't looked over a lot of games with odds, except for um, those old Paul, Paul Mur Morphy games where he would like only play with odds. Some ridiculous fucking games. I mean, based on what my opponents played so far, I th I think the One Ring might be my, my best tinker target. Against this particular opponent, but we'll see. Him. Like getting Blight Steel against my Teferi opponent. Maybe not great. Anything's the bit stagger hawk. Well, there's some mana. If Portal hit Planeswalkers, it'd be pretty juicy here, huh? You want to take it for both there? That'd be wild. I think just playing hers is fine. That also has to equip, equip crab token. Hey, funky time. These are $4.20. How many times have I given the crab? In Umazawa's, I think like once or something. Come on, opponent, what you got? Come on. Opponent's tapping some blue mana over there. I guess it untaps the Teferi. Oh, that's fucking huge. I think if you pay two for a Merc Tide, you should be able to portable hole it. Makes the ring look a lot worse. I just want to spin Urza. Sky Sovereign does hit walkers. But then you got this fucking 6-6 six, six in your way, right? Gross. Then I would get back Murktide with Portal. Then they select Fairy back to their hand. Not really ideal, huh? Yeah, right, Doug Twitch chat? I've been thinking about that. I like reread Portal Hole earlier to make sure I couldn't hit my own things. Oh, they're bouncing Portal. Interesting. I've been drawing cards forever over there. They've got a bunch of counters at this point. I don't they're too worried. Oh, the idea was portal holding your own um, your own talisman to boom. So you t tap the talisman for mana, play the portal hole, exile the talisman, tap the talisman to Urza, or tap tap the portal hole to Urza, and then cast Tinker Sack in the hole, and the talisman comes back into play. Was the thought.
I think I gotta play this portal. Not looking super. Teferi's already up to eight. Been a while since I lost to a Teferi emblem. Mustaf. You did funky time. I'll get you in a sec. No rush, huh? Saving time. This way I'm not serving the spirit token. Love it. All right, opponent. How many cards are you drawing? Yeah, that's good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, that's when it's good pressure. Try and lean a little bit more that direction. I almost want to cut the blight steel. It just does not seem like it's going to win any games here. Just be a dead draw, and I never want to take her for it. How bad is that? Um, I'm just cutting the blight steel. Really don't think it's connecting. Maybe it is. All right, get back in here. <laughs> That's cowardly. Boarding out Blightsteel is officially cowardly. We got a very different deck this time, though, Mulchi. Like, I, I don't actually think I would have been in Artifacts this draft if it hadn't been stipped. Would be sweet if this deck trophies. Yeah. I mean, it's sweet that we're 2-0 already. You want to play Hedron Crab? No. <laughs> I had to listen to more Bus Driver. I think that, like, like, every time I hear him, I'm like, oh, man. All right, here's Funky Time song request. Thank you for being patient, Funky Time. This is Let Us Break Out. Sure. The old six mana kind. Absolutely mulchy. Yeah, it's been a very artifact-heavy season. I did a top 50 breakdown earlier. And there were so many, um, <laughs> like I had the turtle, like stupid high, just dummy high. How many counters have we seen out of them? I feel like not that many. Definitely holding something up, but subtlety, that one we have seen. I'm going to put this on top. And then next turn, James Sky Sovereign. Yeah, Mandarin was likely holding, but we hadn't seen it out of them at least. Yeah, our, uh, one spell at turn deck. Not doing great. Not doing great against the wall of counters. Hey, the last wish. Things up 53 months. Duck cube. That extra staff counter. Pretty 
chill groove. Pretty good. Well, there goes my board. Perfect. <laughs> Alrighty, folks. It's been a good stream. We did get that one trophy in there. We also hammered out my top 50. We had this cool step in. It's been a pleasant evening. I don't think I got two lands off the top. Have a wonderful Sunday night. Yeah, have a real pleasant one. This is a 10 minute long song request. I thought it was almost over here in four minutes. Hmm. I'll take another turn or two, I suppose, but this game's pretty over, huh? It's fine, no worries. <laughs> I am enjoying the tune. <laughs> the flash and sneak and breach show for result from earlier. One, two, Grant X. Got real murdered. I threw the first round too. Like the deck probably should have gone two and one, but threw it real bad. All right, this is enough. <laughs> GG's opponent. And GG's chat. 